Hello, this is Pastor Carl Brewer with Metro Morning Manna, uh, and let's get right into the word. Today's word comes from John chapter 15, beginning at verse 1. I am the true vine, my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes so it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I've spoken to you. Now remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Uh, the Bible here, Jesus is teaching how spiritual growth and development happens. And he gives a very simple message to his followers. The message is not about what you eat, what you wear. Uh, it's not about where you go for entertainment or uh, what church you're a part of. The message is one simple message. If you want to bear fruit, then you have to stay with me. That's Jesus' message. And so my challenge to us is simply that, that spiritual growth happens not by how much uh, time we spend in church or how much uh, uh, or how good we try to be or avoiding bad stuff. But what determines our spiritual growth is who are we with? Are we staying with Jesus? Uh, I like to think of it like this. Uh, I don't sail at all, but I, I, you know, Jesus described the spiritual life like the wind, and he says that you can't control the wind. If you're sailing in a sailboat, you don't control the wind, but what you can control is how you turn the sail. In our spiritual development, in our growth, in our relationship with God, you can't make yourself bear fruit, but you can control how you turn the sail. You can control, are you making sure that you are putting yourself in a position where, where you know Jesus is. As a pastor, I tell folk all the time, make sure you don't miss church. Not because church is gonna save you, but because you know that that's a place where Jesus dwells. You know Jesus dwells in his word. You know Jesus dwells in a prayer life. You know that there are some places Jesus doesn't dwell. And so if you wanna become more like Jesus and bear fruit, it won't be done by your good works, but it will be done if you make sure that you stay close to Jesus, where he dwells. God bless you.